Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, um, if you would for me, just uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if you would, I'd really appreciate it. I'm low on my likes and subscriptions, so the more you can do, the better. It helps me out. Um, I appreciate it. But uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up. So, I'm trying to sell my house, and one of the requirements is I had to slip a drip pan underneath the hot water heater. Um, now, this is not the proper size. Like, uh, this is a 26 inch drip pan. Um, I should use the 24, but you know, if you use 26, a little bit bigger, it really don't matter. Um, it's not a big deal that I know of, uh, unless maybe there's something I don't know, but I think if you have more space to catch water, I don't think they're gonna have a problem with that. Um, you excuse the cord hanging, I gotta move that. Uh, but I just wanted to take a look up here. Um, so. This is how it's connected, it's an electric. Uh, so, basically what I had to do was, you know, I had to, uh, excuse me, that's my mom y'all. Um, I had to uh, shut this off. You know, if you have one like this, I had to shut this all the way off. Um, I had to, down here is the drain. I had to um, back flush that drain like, I have a I have a hose bib out here. I'll take you out here and show you. So out here, I have a hose bib. I don't know if you can see that. That's a double female ended adapter. So I had to hook the hose on that, the male end on that, and then I had to run the hose from there um, into my garage here. And I had to hook it into there, so, into the drain. So, when you turn the water on, on the hose out there, it's gonna shoot water into this. And so I basically had to do that to, um, like clear all the, get the sediment out. So I had to do it a few times. Um, I also had to turn the knob, I had to tighten it and loosen it a couple times to get any sediment that may be trapped in there. Um, so I did that for a while. Um, a lot of sediment came out. A bunch and so um, once I started seeing that I was just getting constant flow because what I did too is I power washed it once I had the hose on there and I had that valve open I went ahead and opened this up right but like I said remember shut off your power that's very important if you do not shut off your power uh, to this unit and you empty it of water you will burn out the heating element and you will have to get this thing replaced so please remember shut off your power before you work on this unit. So once the sediment was broken up, everything, um, and I had constant steady flow um, when I had that going, when I had that loose, uh, what I did is to, uh, because this just provides water, brings more water in, so um, you're gonna wanna shut it off because you gotta drain this tank. So I shut that off, um, but the problem was when I shut it off and opened the valve, a little bit of water came out and then it stopped flowing. So I'm like trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Why ain't I getting flow? And so it dawned on me, this pressure relief valve, okay? You wanna open that thing up all the way when you're draining, open it up all the way and you know, um, in the manual, if you read the manual, it tells you to do this at least once a year. Uh, just uh, open it up. When you open it up and open that drain valve, but make sure, make sure you still have the hose attached. Um, and the other end of the hose, just leave it outside or in a floor drain. Um, once you open up that pressure relief valve and have that open, that gravity is just going to push that water right on out. And so once it drained, um, uh, these, I recommend these, these like rubber plastic drip pins because I kind of, I had, I like bent it, I kind of bent it down and somebody else like, I unscrewed this, unscrewed this. I was able to keep this attached. And so what happened was, is we just kind of, we pulled the bottom out just a little bit, kind of pulled it out a bit, uh, just kept an eye on this pipe because this was the, kept an eye on the pipe because this was the only one attached um, in here. That was the only one attached. So we went, we kept an eye that we weren't going to bend that. But yeah, we went ahead, slid the bottom out, this part here, slid it out, and then kind of tilted it a little bit. And then we took this thing and we put... One hand on this side of the pan, one hand on that side of the pan, and we just kind of slid it and shimmied it back and forth. Like, we, we took the lip over here, but on that side, 
and we we cut the lip underneath and started it here so when we push that up we just kind of uh we kind of sh uh, we shimmied it back and forth uh hands on each side of the pan uh, until we were able to get it all the way under and that's how we did it and so then after we got it where we needed it screwed everything back on closed our drain at the bottom made sure these were tight turned the water back on bam it was uh, good to go so i hope this video helps um take it easy and have a good day